Whoa, kitty. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the page, welcome to the channel, this is The Rap 2K, man, we got a DMV artist, and you already know I'm from Baltimore, the 410, so you already know I'm on top of this shit, my man Q the Fool, out here using Rico Nasty, it's producer Kenny Beats, yeah, I like it, yo, I like Kenny Beats, honestly, like, Yo, Kenny Beats is out here for the last, like, year or two. Like, he been, and I've seen him work more with Rico Nasty, and I like when females in particular have a artist or a producer that they work with all the time. Like, Tommy Genesis has Charlie S -E -X, -E X, and I fucks with that, you feel me? Like, who is it? Asian Doll. Like, she has, I think it's Southside. I fucks with that, you feel me? I like when females find producers that they can rock with just for a minute, you feel me? Like, they just rocking with them for whole albums, you feel me? Yo, I definitely like this tape, Q the Fool, you know what I mean? He always spitting this shit, he always on this shit, so, yo, I like Q. Q is a good-ass artist, I feel like he's gonna be here for a while, as long as he don't get locked up again, you feel me? Like, as long as he stays the fuck out of trouble, we should see him around. First song out the gate, the song drop. Yo, I like that shit hard. Definitely, definitely tough. The song 100, I definitely like that song. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Like, yeah. It's definitely, that's a cool song. I you know mean, I know this nigga mad. I fucked this last bitch. <laughs> song number three is definitely my favorite song. That drive me out the streets crazy. I just drive the streets crazy. You know they ain't fucking with us. I like that, y'all. It's my favorite song, y'all. I like the guitar, guitar in the background. You feel me? And the beat. It's just a smooth ass beat. You feel me? Good, good, good quality music right there. I think it's the best song off this album to me. Song number four. I feel like it's a good ass song, but I feel like Offset would have killed that shit. You feel me? Like I feel like Kenny Beats really had that song for Offset or one of the memes. Like yo, I'm gonna play the song for Q for real. Like cause yo, it's a good ass song for real. Like yeah. Song number five. I think it's very skippable. Like I don't really like that song at all. Like at all. I don't like that song. Song number six. Yo, it's an artist named Udon the Activist, and it's also an artist named Warhol SS. I did the Warhol SS album review. I told you I don't really want to ever hear anything else from this nigga. But I see there is another fucking artist out here that sound just like both of these niggas. Like, Jesus Christ. When are you niggas going to get your own fucking style? <laughs> Yo, for real, nigga splurge. Get yo, nigga, change your name and change your style, bro. Like, go listen to Uno the Activist. Go listen to Warhol SS. You literally sound like both of them. And I think Uno the Activist would have killed this shit. Uno the Activist would have killed this shit. His his style is, I believe his style is the original one out of all those people. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. That far as that last song is concerned, this song would have been better with Ono the Activist. Yo, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. This is that beautiful EP. It's only an EP from him, you feel me? So I ain't gonna go really too much in depth. You already know, follow the Rap 2K page. I'm on IG, I'm on Twitter right now. Yo, just rate my shit. Everything you see, every time I I, I, I come up, pop up, rate my shit. Y'all mean go like, hit, subscribe, share that motherfucker. Sharing. Sharing is caring. Sharing is fucking caring. You feel me? If you share, that means you care. Y'all have a great evening, alright?